Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. We are picking up here right where we last left off. Everyone is out and about doing their daily chores. We are currently at, let's see here, about 36 days in. Yep, 36 days in, so uh, we've done pretty well so far. We're up to six colonists right now. Our newest recruit, I believe, uh, was Rosalind here. Take a look at her. Uh, she's a shooter, a grower and a crafter mainly uh, a little bit of skill in medicine as well so everyone's got their jobs everyone's working away here uh, i noticed that uh, i had a tree growing on our fence line here so we're getting that um, fixed here getting that tree chopped down we'll put a, a, a fence panel there uh, i've also been advised uh, that we should be keeping these components indoors because uh, they do deteriorate and uh, the commenter thought that uh, we had already lost a bunch of uh, components earlier so let's uh, start things off by setting up I think what we're gonna do is set up a, uh, a structure just in the corner here like a little storage room just off of our our hotel uh, let's just go like this and we'll just bring this down here and we'll put a door right there and then we'll mine out this corner there we go so this will be like a storage room for us uh, we'll put a stockpile uh, our blowback operation is finished researching uh, so we'll move on to our hospital bed next uh, let's just do a strip here uh, like that for components maybe clear manufactured uh, components energized components perfect and we'll take components off of this one all right well maybe we should do the same for uh, our wood stockpile we could probably move that uh, inside let's copy these settings and we'll do a wood stockpile inside here as well maybe just on the back wall here Paste that there and we'll clear this there we go so we'll try and uh, keep our items from deteriorating uh, I don't think they know the blocks don't deteriorate neither does steel or silver so all that stuff can stay out here uh, I don't think does, does this stuff deteriorate no it doesn't okay so that should all be good this can stay like it is um, okay, so our research is done. Uh, let's go take a look at our research tree here. Uh, they're starting in on gun turrets. It's actually not a very big one, so maybe we'll let them do that, and then we'll move on to hospital a bit after that. It's only 800, and uh, they're already making some good progress there. Caravan request uh, for tribal wear, 27 tribal wear for 3,800 silver. Uh, we do not have the resources to do that right now. Temperature outside is minus one, so uh, not too cold at all. It's still too cold for anything to be growing. Uh, so what we might want to do is, since we have the tilled soil mod, uh, we can uh, have essentially, I guess, tilled soil uh, down on stone floors. I think that's how it works. So what we might want to do is maybe do like a bit of a an indoor garden up in here, maybe in this area right here, uh, somewhat close to our freezer. So let's go ahead and start mining this out. Uh, we'll do little chunks at a time. Uh, it'll be kind of our longer term project. Uh, may not have it for this winter, but... Uh, I think that's what eventually we'll, we'll start working towards there. Foe is busy cutting more trees up here, so we should have a good stockpile of lumber. All our bedrooms are completed, and everyone should have their own room. Uh, those are unowned. I guess we just haven't had a, a night here where people have gone to sleep yet, so they should claim these last two beds there. Okay, what else would we be wanting to look at? Uh, we do have our third solar generator, uh, solar panel up here. So power generation, 
Uh, still looks like we're lacking a bit here. So we may need to look at uh, doing something else. Possibly a wind turbine. Uh, or maybe we could do a th fourth uh, solar generator. Let's start off with a fourth one. And uh, we'll see how that works for the time being. And I guess, yeah, just continue work on our guns. Now, I don't think anything has actually started here yet, so... Uh, maybe we can pause this one. Our stone blocks. We've got 250 stone blocks, and we're not really using them for anything right now. All right, our storage unit is uh, complete here. Uh, so this stuff uh, shouldn't uh, deteriorate anymore. I made a small stockpile of wood over by our our generator down here, so we should always have enough wood for that. Uh, let's go ahead and speed things up here. And let me just uh, see, who do we have for crafting right now? We've got NG. And NG is still doing stuff on this? I've told them to stop that. Shouldn't you be focused on... Oh no, you're, uh, it should be smithing, right? Not crafting? Okay. So smithing, here we go. Alright, Angie. Come work and make us our guns. Oh well, we don't have power. So I guess we won't be doing that. Alright, well, we'll see how uh, how much extra power this provides. Another option for us uh, eventually will be to make the uh, solar roofs, because we have that mod enabled. Let's go over to our research and let's find where solar roofs are. Scalable solar roofs right here. So that could be another option for us. Uh, I think we still will go for hospital beds first, and then we'll go to scalable solar roofs. So I want to get those hospital beds up as soon as possible, in case we have another big disease outbreak. All right, let's speed it up again here. Uh, we got visitors from the northwest. Uh, they're afraid of the insects, but uh, that's opposite side of the map, so they will be okay. Let's take a look at these guys. So I think we have all the settings defaulted here. Um, shopping area. Interesting. So we're trying to entertain, not trying to recruit. That's fine. And they're restricted to our home area. Which is fine as well. Oh, looks like someone left a uh, visitor flag out here. Cool. Got some more components to pick up here. There's a dead hair there we can actually pick up as well. Still have all this stuff to pick up. Um, is that stuff all within our home area? That stuff isn't. Alright, let's extend it there for a sec. Alright, fast forward. Temperature is pretty cold inside here, so... Yeah, power. Hopefully this uh, fourth solar generator uh, produces enough power for us. We are using quite a bit every day. But uh, we'll see. Got some hypothermia going on here. Um, now that it's a bit... Uh, or now that it's sunny out, it should warm up a bit. And uh, they'll be able to go and warm up inside if they need to. I hope, anyway. Uh, what do we need for this? Uh, three components and 13 steel. Alright, people are hauling steel right now. Um, Isaac should be mining. So let's put that numero uno for him. I want him to focus on mining after he grabs these components take that back deliver them and get us some more steel we'll just keep designating more steel to mine 
And how much wood do we have now? It might be worth it for us too. Let me put some more furniture into these bedrooms. Give them a bit more comfort boost. So we could do dressers for 50 wood. Or the end tables for 30 wood. How much does this help? Uh, to do beauty four. Or the dresser. Beauty five. I think we'll just stick with the end tables for now. Uh, so let's put some of these down. Oh god, a tornado! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god. That is new. Oh no! No, it's taking out everything! <laughs> Son of a... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, go away, tornado. Leave, <laughs> leave me alone. Jesus. Well, that's the first tornado I've ever encountered. Christ, thank God it didn't take out our uh, our power. Hopefully it doesn't come back this way. Oh my god. That was nuts. Stay out of there, Simmer. Don't get picked up. That's pretty cool. Um, I know I've said before, or I've often thought before, that they should have natural disasters in this game. So because we have that uh, mod that enables the blueprints to remain and uh, uh, our colonists to just automatically fix things, we're going to start doing that right away. And we have a disease. Uh, I got sick from an infection in her right middle finger. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So we got some frostbite. Uh, so that's what she got the um, infection from, I guess. We'll see if we can stay ahead of this one. We may need to use some uh, actual medicine. So far, though, keeping ahead. Five. Yeah, she's keeping at least a percentage ahead. We'll check back in the morning. Oh. Look at all this, though. Destroyed beds. <laughs> Destroyed the uh, a couple walls. Our granite walls. I'm surprised that the tornado actually took out granite walls. Didn't really expect that. And I think we actually lost some food too. Yeah, we're down to 12 meals. Damn. That just destroyed. But seriously, like the granite walls, that, that should be, uh, that should with, withstand a tornado. I can understand the, the wood walls. Uh, foe's got hypothermia now. Uh, it is quite cold here because we did lose uh, a wall, uh, an exterior wall in this building. Alright, let's take a look at Engie. How's that infection coming along here? 21% uh, infection, 29% immunity. Alright, you'll be fine. Uh, we need to... Actually, no... Mining or uh, construction is above that. I'm gonna put reed on constructing too. I want to get this stuff rebuilt as fast as possible. We should have enough supplies to uh, fix everything here. Uh, NG had some food poisoning. Uh, NG, I don't want to risk it. Uh, just rest until you're healed. All right, guys. Fix these buildings. Get everything back into a uh, working order again. And what's up with a, a, a winter tornado? Aren't those supposed to happen in the summer? Uh, cargo pods. All right, let's check out where these are and what they are. Potatoes. We should definitely pick this stuff up. Uh, Simmer, can you go and haul some potatoes? So we do need some food. Fo, go haul potatoes as well. Wow. I'm just glad I didn't take out these. 
Not or our batteries. Came close. Came very close. So first they're going to repair all the items and then they'll actually uh, build the stuff they need to. It looks like they've already delivered a lot of the resources that we'll need. So let's just fast forward here and uh, we'll just kind of play the waiting game until they're done this. I think we'll still need uh, more steel, though, in order to fix everything. Uh -huh. We still have 200 here. Ah, uh, mental break, fire starting spree, God damn it! Where are you? Not, in, not near our wood piles! <laughs> Foe, you're crazy! Alright, stay on top of those fires, guys. Foe, snap out of it. Please. We don't need any more damage around the base. Alright, we're going into our second night without power in our sleeping quarters. Uh, foe is no longer on a fire starting speed. Good. Major brisk, uh, break risk here for NG. Let's take a look at uh, NG's finger again. Uh, we lost uh, <laughs> we lost a toe and a thumb to frostbite. 81% uh, immunity, so he's or she is almost fully healed. Still a lot of repairs to do, though. A little disheartening that it's taking so long. Oh my god, more cargo pods. It sounds like the fuse is exploding. More food. All right, let's uh, dismantle this. So we can get that food a little bit quicker. And we'll skip through to another day. Research is coming along here. Almost done our gun turrets. So once that is done, we'll do the, uh, the hospital beds. Might be able to get that today. Need warm clothes, we got low food, we're down to 16 meals. Come on guys, get this stuff fixed. Hypothermia, who's got hypothermia here? Foe again. Uh, NG's no longer inspired. Alright, where's Foe? You're sleeping? Why don't you just go rest? Rest until you're healed. Warm up. Damn it, it takes so long to repair these granite walls. Like a long, long time. Oh, uh, I don't know, maybe we should just edit here and we'll come back. Uh, once all this stuff is fixed up. There we go. Almost done. At least we got some power back. That's the main thing. Uh, we still need to get power down here, though. So what's missing down here? Uh, this connection right here. Let's put that in again. And then we should be up and running. Jesus, okay. Well, let's get back to what we were doing originally. Let's putting in these tables here. Make things a little bit more comfortable. And why don't we... Let me do some flower pots as well. Inside the bedrooms.
Make it a little bit more desirable. All right, gun turrets are done. All right, let's go do hospital bed right there. A group of travelers are passing by. Cool. Finish these. Okay, right on. Oh, I need one more up here. And everyone will have one. All right, so gun turrets. Do we want to do a gun turret right now? We might as well put one maybe up here. Let's go security. Improvised gun turret, 125 steel, three components. Uh, let's do it right. Maybe a little bit back. I want it in line with the door, I think. Let's do it right there. Right here. Then it can shoot down as well. Okay. Cool. And I'm actually going to do power conduit. Uh, let's see. Like right there, and we'll connect it to the conduit instead of the uh, solar generator. All right, let's take Isaac off of constructing right now. Focus on mining. Fox is hunting within the walls. Uh, we have a couple uh, dead animals in here. So I think we'll be okay for food for a little while. Uh, Angie's getting <laughs> hunted by the fox. The fox is still hungry, apparently. All right, well, let's hunt that fox. Oh, God. Run away. <laughs> Run away, foe. Where's Isaac? Come down and hunt this fox. Any time now. Run away. Oh god, run away. <laughs> oh god. Isaac. Come down here. Oh my god. Kill the fox, god damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, you gotta fight him. Oh no, he's down. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't. Come out here. Oh my god, are you, are you serious? You just... You just killed Engie. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Alright, Engie died. We're down a colonist. Engie was our constructor. And our crafter. Goddamn fox. Alright. Uh, what kind of gear do you have? Nothing of use. Well, that sucks. Alright, well. Let's, um... Build our first sarcophagus, I guess. I wasn't expecting to have to do this for a while. We'll put uh, sarcophaguses up here for now. All right, who else can construct? Rather good. Not much. Reed, I guess. All right, build that, and we'll bury Angie. Oh no! Where did where'd Angie go? Put Angie down. <laughs> no. Uh, for bed. All right. Our colonists get a proper burial. Not with the pirates and the raiders out there. Killed by a hungry fox. What a shitty way to go. Well, hopefully they didn't have any uh, good relationships with anyone. Have any poor mood effects. 
get this built. Okay, and can I reserve this? Allow colonists. Okay. Don't allow colonists. Boom. Copy. Paste. All right, Simmer. Can you bury NG? Now, will they go? They should go to the sarcophagus, right? Yeah. Poor NG. Poor NG indeed. Contains NG, the engineer. The lonesome death. Damn. That sucks. Okay, well, we have one extra bed open <laughs> for our next colonist. And it looks like our power generation is doing pretty good right now, so. There's some good news, I suppose. Unfinished pump shotgun. Oh, of course, N2 is working on that. God damn it. Can, uh, can someone else work on this? Or does it have to be the same author? Hmm. Take a look at that after uh, they work on this one, I guess. Oh, no, they're moving it. Alright, so if I go like this and click on it. No, there's no option. God damn it. Why'd you have to go and get killed by a fox, engine? I saw the fox eating the uh, squirrel. I thought that would uh, suffice his appetite. Bastard. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Isaac is digging away here. So let's see if we can do how we do the tilled soil. Floor, tilled soil for planting crops properly. Uh, cannot support this. Okay, do I have to smooth this out first? Let's just do some tests here. We'll smooth that out. Our turret is up, at least. That's nice to see. Uh, we'll smooth those out, and then we'll see if we can put the tilt soil on top of that. Doesn't exactly tell us how, or how it works. So it works on the dirt. Okay. think there's anything else here. No. Nope. Well, we'll see what happens once it's a uh, smoothed out floor. All right, let's push through to day 41. Foe is fully healed. Good. Good to see. 18 meals. Not too shabby. Got some chem fuel. Slowly deteriorating. Uh, we should probably put that inside. Let's make a uh, just a general stockpile here. Four. Let's see, we'll do chem fuel. Uh, for now, and we'll add other stuff to it later. Take chem fuel out of there. Wondering what we should put in the middle here. This maybe this could be like a gathering area for like weddings and parties and stuff. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Yeah, let's do party spot, uh, marriage spot, and maybe caravan can come here too. This will be like the town square. Where did he get the uh, the jade? That guy was carrying jade. Not sure where that came from. Uh, I need warm clothes. Unhappy nudity. What is Rosalind missing for clothes? Pants. Okay. Let's make some more pants. 
And we've still got uh, dromedary leather. Okay. So let's go. Take that off. And we'll go. Actually, just do any leather. That's fine. Alright, Simmer is working away here. Got 200 work left on that shotgun. Hopefully, it's a half decent shotgun. Oh, our uh, butcher table doesn't have anything set up here. That's odd. We did have this set up before. Can't remember what I've changed. All right. So I was wondering why, like, why is Simmer working on this gun actually? Should be doing food. All right, um, we could use someone to clean. Let's set you up on cleaning when you're not hauling. Maybe clean, clean up our stuff first, and then you can haul. All right, let's try this again. No. Not support this. Well, I thought the whole point of the tilled soil was so you could do it um, on rock floors. I must have misunderstood that. Remove floor? No? Hmm. For planting crops properly. Well, I may have to look into that because I'm completely misunderstanding what that mod does then, apparently. All right, well, we have survived our first natural disaster in the form of a tornado. A tornado actually hit us before, like a electricity storm, a lightning storm, anything like that. Um, I think that'll do it for today's episode since we're about a half hour in here. I think we accomplished quite a bit today. Yeah, okay, we got a gate there, that's good. Uh, we'll be back next time to continue work on our colony. Hopefully we can gain another colonist again after losing NG there. Uh, we might need to make our little survivor graveyard over here a little bit nicer looking. Uh, but uh, we have our first awful wooden sarcophagus. <laughs> so maybe we can uh, make some, some nicer ones on down the road. Leave me some comments down below with any suggestions you may have for the colony. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel, stay tuned for more RimWorld, and feel free to check out any of the other content, old and new, on the channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.